Member at Spring Creek Juvenile Detention Facility is now behind bars after being accused of assaulting a teen. That incident happened in September of last year. Dean Hawkinson now faces felony and misdemeanor charges accused of grabbing a teen by the arm and then squeezing their neck. But it's now months later. What was the delay in making that arrest? KRDO News Channel 13's Michaelia White has the answer. It's new at 5. This video sent into KRDO News Channel 13 from an anonymous source is from August 28th of last year. Teens out of control and staff members fighting back. It's all caught on camera. One, two, one, two. Flash forward to September 12th, a second incident involving Spring Creek staff. Once we received that information, our special victims section, Crimes Against Children's Unit, picked up the investigation and started moving forward with it. A teen who lived at Spring Creek told police they were assaulted by this man, Dean Hawkinson, reporting he grabbed their arm and squeezed their neck. Hawkinson is now facing felony and misdemeanor charges for assault and child abuse. Still the question remains, why did the arrest take so long? Some of the kiddos had been moved to other facilities. Staff members were in other locations, so it, it just takes some time to work through. We want to get these things right. Uh, so you take your time, you make sure that you get your interviews done. And I think sometimes we forget as the interview investigative process is ongoing, we start learning about other individuals who might have information. These incidents are also prompting action from Spring Creek. They're amping up their staff members. They credit this for improving safety measures. Last month, four fights happened at the facility compared to 21 in September. They also released the following statement regarding Hawkinson, saying in part, the Division of Youth Corrections condemns the alleged actions in the strongest possible terms. They say they welcome the involvement of multiple agencies and continue to cooperate fully with their investigation. The facility also says they take these allegations seriously and they not only urge people to report these incidents, they require it. We've uh, not to fear, we've now located Mike Everett. He was outside, hopefully not enjoying himself too much, but working hard. He joins us.